Today's video is a bit of a different one. It's not a vlog, but it's not a sit down video as I'm not sitting down. Um, but anyway, uh, as some of you might know or you might not know, I've been doing a lot of second hand shopping these past few months over the summer. And today I thought I'd just compile all of my second hand purchases together and go do them all with you. Although there is already one thing that I've lost, um, it was just this grey woolen scarf that I think I forgot into the car of my friend's dad. But we just roll without that one, it's somewhere now and everything else is right here and I'm going to show you. You probably, if you follow my vlog, you've probably seen these uh, appear there already. Uh, so the first one has to be this leopard print top that I've been wearing so much these past few weeks. Leopard print is one of the biggest trends of of the current season. It was a big trend uh, during the summer and it's now continuing into the autumn as well. So I'm so happy with this. I paid 2 euros I think in the recycling center and it's definitely pay itself back I've been wearing it a lot and I will continue wearing it a lot and the next thing is a very greased Philip Bacco shirt uh, that I bought from Kaivarin Kanuna in Helsinki I paid 15 euros for this, uh, which is good for good for the brand because it is a it's not a high end, but I'd say mid market brand. Uh, so yeah, really, really good value for money, and it's a bit yeah, it is creased because I was wearing it uh, while flying back, flying back to Glasgow. So I should probably put it into the washing machine and iron it, but we'll do that later. And this one is from my favorite, favorite second-hand store in Helsinki called Riola. Uh, so this is a Massimo Dutti shirt and it is actually men's shirt, but I thought that it would give a nice oversized vibe and I already have a blog post up with this shirt as well. I was wearing it with um, this like leather leather skirt and my Minna Parikka bunny, bunny sneakers. So I really really like to combine combine the shirt with the um, skirt and create a nice a nice contrast. It's a bit too short to be worn as a dress, which is what I originally thought I could do, but it's just not comfortable enough. Like it it covers, but it just it doesn't cover enough for me to feel comfortable and like I really want to wear it as a as a dress. But as a shirt or like a little tunic tunic kind of thing, it will be a nice one. And then this one, which was also from the recycling center, a white linen blazer that I've been wearing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot this summer. I think the original price for this was 5 euros, but because there was an offer, like if you buy 5 items, you get 50% off. Anyway, I ended up paying. Uh, 250 so 2 euros 50 cents for this which is really really good price for what it is so the shell is 100% linen and then it has a polyester lining and yeah I've been wearing it a lot and as you might know I do love my blazers lastly but definitely not least 
uh, is another find from Real Love. This is probably my favorite, at least my favorite secondhand purchase. Probably even my favorite purchase of all summer. So this is a Samoyi jumper, woolen jumper. And if you don't know, Samoyi is a Finnish, Finnish fashion brand, really high end, like a luxury brand. I think the original price for a jumper like this would be around 200 euros, but I got this one for 25 from Rila, and it was it was one of those days when it was 27 degrees outside, so it was boiling hot. But yeah, I was shopping for knitwear, as you do in a heat way. But yeah, I already already wore this on a blog post as well. And this will definitely be my savior uh, going further into the season when it gets colder and the Glasgow rain and wind really hits me and also the flat is cold. But yeah, this was a really, really good purchase that I'm super happy about that I found. My little, like, dresser almost. Really, really good and happy with that. Then the last two things are scarves uh, from my very last and recent visit to the recycling center maybe just a week ago before I left. Uh, so yeah, silk scarves have been huge huge trend uh, this season and they are already uh, going to be going to be big uh, going further into the autumn and maybe even winter months. Uh, so the first one that I got is obviously leopard print because I'm obsessed right now. Uh, so yeah, and this one is a bit of a actually they're both a bit um, bigger ones. So I've been wearing this um, not like a neckerchief or all that on my hair, but just like like a bit like bigger. You can style like this so it actually keeps your neck warm. Uh, so yeah, I've been, been using that one a lot. And also, uh, because this is a bigger one and a longer one, I've been able to wear it as a belt as well, which is a very recent discovery of mine of how to style silk scarves. Definitely give it a go if you find a bigger scarf like this. So it adds a nice little detail and quite a unique one as well. And then the second one, which I actually have not worn yet, but I definitely will, because I've been just so obsessed with the leopard print that I haven't had time to wear this one. But it's this like chain, uh, chain print scarf, also a bigger one, uh, and I think this one was probably. 2 euros or 1 euro and this one was 2 or 250 so definitely not bad at all they are not like actual pure silk rather I'd say probably polyester but they have the silk feeling to them which I really like so uh, yeah and they have the tags cut out so can't really tell the actual material but I really like the style and look of these. Also, I really like to wear like bigger scarves, scarves like this on my hair. But now that I now that I've cut my hair, uh, I feel like a big scarf like this would just be too much and too like overwhelming. But you know what I mean. Like it would. It would just be too much for like my shoulder hair, whereas with my longer hair, this would have been just perfect. But you never know. I might, might still try it, uh, tie it around like a ponytail or something. Or then going or oh, already thinking way ahead to next summer. This could also be a really nice, almost like a turban kind of thing if you just wrap it. Wrap it around and so it would like protect your protect your head and your hair from the sun rays and the UV rays. Mm. But yeah, 
not going to be needing that in a while now. But those are... Oh no, there's actually one more thing uh, that I'm going to show you. Uh, so I bought these um, earrings as well. Um, I'm going to insert a like, cutout of them somewhere around here. So the last thing I wanted to show you is these earrings that I also got from the recycling center. I love the vintage vibe, so they're quite big, like this. And yeah, it just adds such a nice little, nice little detail to your looks. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing them quite a lot over the summer months as well. And I think those were one euro or something like that. So that's it from me today. I hope you liked this and let me know if you want more videos uh, like this kind of style. This is something I'm not used to at all, like speaking to a camera. And also I just realized I'm looking at myself in the screen and not into the lens at all, so sorry for that, but uh, like I said, this is actually my first time first time doing a video like this and if you want more of these, I will do more and maybe that will also make me better at this. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will also link any blog post, I think all of these actually. Yeah, all of these, uh, except this this scarf, they have already been featured on my blog, so I will leave the links to those blog posts uh, in the like the box thingy below. So definitely go and have a look if you're interested in seeing how they actually look on and how I style them and stuff. And yeah, like I said, if you have any requests for future videos, then please do leave a comment below or leave a comment on my blog or message me on Instagram or just contact and interact with me in any kind of way. I absolutely would love that. Uh, so yeah, until the next time, bye bye.